going to show you another program which we made it using MATLAB for power engineering design. Uh, this program is relating to calculating or checking the CT, I mean the current transformer burden adequacy. In order to go directly to the subject, this is the program which we made it under MATLAB environment. Here if we click the help drawing, we are going to see the case which we are talking about it. You know, for CT is a, is, a, is a transformer which is used to convert the current from a high value to a small value, which we can handle it for a protection relays. But this CT, it cannot only sized by the main current passing through the main contract uh, conductor or the feeder. And we are saying to say, okay, we need one amp or five amp, which uh, they are the standard for the output from the current transformer. We have to make sure that the whole burden or load connected to this CT, in addition to the burden of the cable itself, which will connect the CT with the relay, is... <coughs> not reaching the CT maximum burden which the CT can deliver it. So, going to the program, for example, here we can enter the preliminary guess or the preliminary design of our CT. We are going to choose 1 amp or 5 amp. Let's take, for example, if I want to use a CT with secondary output of 5 amps, and this is the maximum burden of CT in volt ampere. This one we can take it, of course, from the manufacturer. So let's consider the CT can give me maximum 10 volt ampere. Now the question, why the burden of the CT is uh, very low in the volt ampere? Uh, in fact, the CT in ideal condition must be connected to a short circuit. Short circuit means that the CT or uh, the voltage on the secondary terminals of the CT is zero. But of course, this is not the actual case. So in general, the CT must be connected to a very low burden in order to reach the optimum uh, characteristic of the CT. So Again, if the CT maximum burden or minimum burden which can give it to you is 10 uh, volt ampere, let's go to the cable length. I will consider that the cable which will connect the CT, for example, from a switch gear panel to a protection relay is 50 meters. And here we can get also uh, the cable resistance. Cable resistance, of course, it depends on the cable size which I'm going to use it. Usually for design engineers, they are trying to minimize the cross section of the cable as much as possible since it's, uh, it will be reflected directly to the cost of the project. Here the connected load. The connected load, I mean, again, uh, it's, the, uh, it's the overall load. Uh, uh, it's the overall load from the whole relays connected to this CT. So let's consider the volt ampere, it's 5 from all CTs. And right now let's calculate. So here the program is giving me that the chosen CT is not adequate to your system. Here the program is giving me a full report, which I can print it directly to my manager or to the authority uh, whom I'm dealing with them in order to show them the calculation step by step and why this CT is not adequate to my system. Uh, in this case, the design engineer, since uh, the connected load related to the relay is something he cannot uh, play on it, for example, changing the type or the manufacturer of the protection relay, uh, the two parameters with, uh, which the design engineer can start mani uh, manipulating it one by one. So the cable length, also it's something fixed based on the layout of the uh, of the uh, the project. So the design engineer, maybe he can decide to increase the cross section of the cable. So for example, rather than using uh, uh, four square millimeter cable, he's going to use six. So of course the resistance, it will be decreased since the cross section of the cable will be increased. So rather than five, let's consider by increasing the cross section, it will be 3.5 ohm per kilometer. Again, we are going to check also still the CT is not adequate. Since 
as we said that uh, the cross section of the cable is something will be reflected commercially on the project the design engineer can go back to the CT secondary current and choose rather than 5 amps to be 1 amps and here we can see that the CT is adequate right now for the system since we already decreased the output of the CT so of course the voltage drop on the cable will be decreased and accordingly the, whole, the overall burden uh, which can be seen by the CT will be decreased so this is a small tool we program it in MATLAB but in fact during the tendering or design stage it's very useful to engineers in order to make sure that their guess is okay or not because as we mentioned during the tendering stage anything related to the cross-section cable it will be reflected to the cost of the project and during the design stage we're gonna make sure that we are selecting a proper CT which will match with the uh, relay or the burden connecting with it thank you for watching and hoping that this video will be useful for all power system engineers thanks again